I want you to understand that Jesus had a, a, a reaction to the extreme temptation and extreme, extreme demonic opposition that he was facing. He began to exhibit extreme consecration. <laughs> he began to use the word in an extreme way. He kept saying to Lucifer, it is written, it is written, it is written. When the enemy comes with extreme temptation and with extreme attack against you, against your family, that's a sign because it's, it's a season. It in consecration and say, well, if you're going to hit me with... opposition, I'm going to hit you with extreme fasting. I'm going to hit you with extreme praying. I'm going to hit you with extreme worship. Thou shalt, he, Jesus told Satan, he said, thou shalt worship the Lord our God and him only. I'm going to, if you're going to get extreme in your attack against me, I'm going to use Jesus' answer for hell's extreme was Jesus said, I'm going to my own extremes. I'm not going to let you win the battle against the flesh, the world, the devil. I'm not going to let you do that. I'll take on you with extreme consecration and I'll go more to the word. I'll go more. I'll turn on on my worship all week long if I have to live in an atmosphere I won't live like this forever I won't stay like but when you sense you're under extreme demonic attack get extreme consecrate get extreme extreme worship get extreme into the book and read it and say it. And if you have to read it out loud until y'all are looking at me like I'm crazy but this is what you know Jesus if he did it maybe we need I'm so tired of people just being nicey nicey Christians. Sometimes we need some extreme services. We need some extreme worship. We need some people who are not ashamed to glorify God and say, yeah, I believe. I believe in the blood. I believe in the cross. I believe in the name of Jesus and it's more powerful than anything hell can bring against me. Doesn't matter what others do. I, I will get extreme. If the enemy comes against my family, I'm going to get extreme and I'll go get me some oil and I'll anoint every bedroom and I'll anoint every pillowcase and I'll anoint, I'll, I'll anoint the milk. I'll anoint, I'm going to get, I'm going to get extreme. That's what you do. You turn the worship on. If depression has come, turn the worship on. Turn the, in, you know, you know, you just begin to, you just begin to let the God inhabit the praise of His people. 
No one in this book ever did anything for God that was of great magnitude without extreme, without tapping into the level of extreme consecration to God. You're not crazy if you want to please Him. You're not crazy if you want to do and you want to be free and you want to live for Him and serve Him. You're not crazy. I'm so tired of people making us feel like we're the crazy ones. If the world is getting more and more extreme, if men are competing in women's stuff and all, all genders are getting mixed up, why don't we get extreme about our faith in Jesus Christ? And what this book says and stand strong. The enemy is extreme. We have to go against him with extreme fasting, extreme praise, extreme warfare. You don't do it all the time, but there are seasons when you just say, I need some extra help. Do you know that the scripture said that Satan then took him, listen to this very carefully, he took him to an exceedingly high mountain. Satan took him up. The devil took him up. Do you know that Satan raises people up? Satan can give people fame. Satan can give people fortune. Satan, he took him up on an exceeding high mountain. Be careful when you're going up. It's not that God's not allowing it. It's not that God has a problem with us excelling and being blessed and doing amazing things with our life and dreaming big dreams. But when you begin to not give God the glory, that's what I'm preaching on. Notice what he said. Took him up. The devil took him up to an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And listen, and there And he said, you can have it all and their glory. You can be famous. You can be powerful. People will turn their heads when you walk in the room. But Jesus said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to receive that kind of glory. That glory belongs to God. The longing to be praised. The longing to be seen. The longing to be known. Jesus rejected the offer to take their glory that the world wanted to put on him. He immediately walked out of that wilderness after 40 days of fasting and praying. And the Bible said in Luke chapter 4, he walked into the synagogue. He opened up the book and he said, now here's what my ministry is going to be about. The spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty of captives and the recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are at oppressed. And then the next Next verse says, and to proclaim the set the year of the Lord. And the next verse says, and when he closed the book, I love this part. He he gets up and he said, my ministry is not about me. My ministry, I'm Jesus. I'm God in the flesh. I'm God's only begotten son. But I am not here for my glory. I'm not here about me, 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 I, I, I. We've already seen that up in heaven. Lucifer had that spirit. But he closed the book. He said, this is what my ministry is about. My ministry is about the broken. My ministry is about the hurting. My ministry is about those held captive. My ministry is about the brokenhearted. My ministry is about people who've been through all kinds of hell and shame and disgrace and they want to give up. That's what my ministry. And then the scripture said he closed the book. He closed the book and gave it to the attendant, which would have been the priest and the preacher, as if to say, what's your ministry going to be about? I'm, I'm Jesus. That's what my ministry is about. We don't want to see you up here and you're glory because your glory can't heal anybody. My glory can't save anybody. This church has one celebrity and his name is Jesus Christ. We don't want man's glory. We want to be careful to give God the glory. Can we do that at every campus right now? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.